Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video is going to be about this disc motor. Um, those of you that follow my channel have seen this before. I had made it into um, a three-phase motor with optical timing um, a while back. And um, so what it has is, look real close, the coils are right there. Um, I have four magnets that are north and four magnets that are south. They're neo-magnets. And um, you look right here. These are the original coils, these gold color ones. And then I rewound these um, with 20 and 26 gauge. And then I put them in series, these two. So these are pairs. And then these are pairs. And then these are pairs. And then um, the original ones have two wires of 18 uh, wound in parallel. So on these two generator coils, this one and this one, what I did was I split them up and put them in series to get more voltage out um, as a generator. And um, so what we have tonight is it's going to be running off a Bedini circuit. You know, since we have two wires, we got a timing and a power. So this is just my typical little test bed Bedini circuit with SG in generator mode. And um, there's quite a bit of stuff right here. So uh, we have the lithium Titan 8 battery. This is the run battery. And then this is the charge battery. And then the output of this comes through. I have a 16 volt um, zinger on here. So this triggers about 17. And uh, this is an identical one as well with 16 volts. And then this will be our amp meter coming from the cap dump to the charge battery. This is our amp meter for the input and then this cap dump is running on this amp meter back to the primary battery. And um, so what I did was these coils, the generator coils that is, they only produce about 7 volts at um, the optimal speed of this motor. So um, I built these little guys as a little voltage multiplier since it's AC and um, I built a couple of them. This one's already hooked up but we don't have the cap dump hooked up yet. Um, if you guys are curious about that circuit, this is this is the basic circuit right here. So um, if you guys are interested in them, uh, I could build them. Um, if you guys could build them yourself, here's the circuit. So um, basically we're going to get this thing running and um, then it, once we get it kind of tuned down, we're going to hook up this system to go back to the primary. So let's um, get this fired up here. So we'll just kick this over. So we got the pot. Um, there's no reason it's just a straight pot. Um, we're about uh, 200 ohms right now. So what you start is just twist it a little bit. So we're just going to let it kind of get up to speed. And um, you can see this one discharging. So that's about uh, that's a full amp every time it hits at about 17 volts. Uh, right now we're running just a hair under half an amp. And then um, you guys want to take a look at the waveform here. Here's our waveform. So it kind of goes up into an H and then it kind of squares off as the cap dump discharges. And uh, we can take a look at the RPM right now. Take a look here. So right now we're 1500 RPMs, but what we're going to do now is we're going to adjust this thing down to be the most efficient, which pretty much entails just bringing this pot at a higher resistance as it'll go. So now we're just a hair over 200, about 250, and um, see the scope is quite a bit different. So we have a lot of pulses going on now. So the cap dump slowed down a little bit, but we're actually we're using quite a bit less. So we're only using about 250 compared to half an amp. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to hook up this system. So like I said, this system um, is on this coil and this coil. They're in series. And this multiplies it. So 
Let's see what this what this was originally. So without the multiplier. So without the multiplier we're 7 volts which isn't really enough to do anything just like that. Uh, you'd have to get the motor going almost three times the speed to make it useful. So we go through here and this does it by three so every capacitor um, adds on. So we could look at what's coming out now in DC. So now we have 30 volts DC, so which is useful for a lot of things. So pretty cool little setup there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up this cap dump, and um, the motor is going to slow down. And but how we have it tuned, it's not really going to draw any more power. But the motor will change it. So let's hook this up. So. You hear the tone of the motor change. You get a little bit more spikes in there. And uh, basically just hovering around 250, the same as it was before. So this one's running now to that one. And then this output comes around to this one. And that's going back to the primary battery. So you can see every time it pulses, it brings that battery back up a little bit. So, so we have this one help running the motor and then this system going to the second battery to run later. So pretty cool. This little system I'm really happy with. Um, I tried some uh, buck proof circuits and stuff but this seems to be much more efficient because there's no circuitry it's just diodes and capacitors so pretty cool. So you can just hear that pulsing up. It's nice on my cap dumps. These are um, I'm not sure if I have these on the store, but I have a lot of them on my store and the little light makes it really nice. You can see when everything's firing. So you can see this one and that one. And it's interesting because this one, you count the time, um, isn't much faster than this one. A little bit. But it's still a lot of power going back in there. It's really cool. So, yeah. Anyway guys, don't forget to check out my store and thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.